account if I wanted to. So every, all 63 panels on the system could report to their own account. Uh, so again, there's multiple ways to, to do reporting features. And the reason why I say that uh, is the fact that uh, we, we all know, again, I come from the field, I come from that side of things too, is the way that you guys are going to make money, that it's all about that recurring revenue. So I understand you guys need accounts uh, to generate that recurring revenue. And I'm getting something saying here that the uh, uh, presentation is blurred. Uh, I apologize. Maybe if I, I'll try and I don't know if it's blurry for anybody else or. And I should have mentioned too, if you guys do have questions, by all means, put those into the chat box. I will try and answer those during the presentation. Uh, if I don't get to it during the presentation, I will get to it at the end. All right, so we're getting multiple people here saying it's pretty clear on their side. So I apologize uh, to the person uh, that it is blurry for. Uh, so again, when it comes to adding accounts for the reporting, and just so you know, if it, if it is blurry, I am recording this webinar. Uh, so if you're not able to see it now, I hope to have all, all of our webinars we've been doing uh, posted very soon. We're working with our marketing and our IT. Uh, it, it's hard when we're not uh, all at the same office right now, but we are looking to add all these webinars we've been doing for the past few weeks and the additional webinars we plan on doing in the future uh, to our website so that way any new hires you guys have or anybody else you guys want to may point to these webinars they can go back and watch them so i have my panel selected here and that's from my host now if i went to my client control panels so i'm just going to go to my number three here go down to mc1000 now matter of again i can choose host or client which this time i want it to be a client I could click Add Device to add an MC1000 module. Now you're only limited to one because of the fact it's a, a client control panel this time. Uh, the other mistake people make now with setting up their client control panels is they forget to come in here because there's not a drop down box or anything and it's already preset as address one for you, but they forget to double click in this box and give it a different address. Uh, so I have two MC1000 modules, I'm saying, on my system uh, here. And this one's going to be MC1000 uh, addressed as 2. And I'm going to make this client connection 2. So you can choose what client connection on that MC1000 module as well. Notice as I'm changing either the address or the client connection, the panel ID is actually changing as well. So if I change this to 10, panel ID changes to 21. And there it is as far as how setting up a client connection. Uh, so we've set up the host connection, we've set up the client connection, kind of went over some of the, the reporting that showed you those documents that we have on our website. The next thing I want to show you guys uh, is if you were on one of our web uh, webinars a couple weeks ago, we talked about this new reporting code generator that we have. Uh, so with that, I'm going to save this file real fast. I'm going to open that up. So I have this new reporting code generator. Open it up. Looks like this. I'm going to select my files. So just have to find them. And I'm going to open up all three of them. So I'm going to do my, my main or my host control panel first. I'll do my second control panel. And one of these, I intentionally uh, did something different with it. Uh, so I'm going to go back into here real fast and find these folders. And of course, my computer's getting a little. Uh,
close down a couple things and see if it helps. There. Muted. So, drag these files over. So these are the reports that I just uh, just made. Uh, I know they both have very similar file names. I just have one as a dash two. Uh, let me know it's my, my client panel. Uh, but I'm gonna open up the first report. And here's another thing. We've had some people that have already installed the MC1000 module since this reporting document or reporting code generators come out. And they say, hey, I don't see all my client control panels on here. Uh, so, and again, if you remember about the, the difference between the control panels, it's all about that PI qualifier, that NPI qualifier. And you'll notice looking at this document, again, my NPI is 01, let me know that this is the host control panel. Uh, so again, 01, then it's gonna let me know if I go over to the parameters, it's gonna say 00, which is my built-in SLC, then the type of address it is. Uh, if I scroll down, I would get to a different SLC loop. Again, 01 for now, my first expandable SLC loop, address 12. And I'm going to keep scrolling just to show you guys the fact that, again, those other panels uh, that will be connected to the system do not show up in this reporting code document. Uh, so what you actually have to do is bring back open the software. In order to get those to show up, oops, I'm going to do something because... Uh, Again, we're sharing that single reporting technology. So only the host control panel actually has a, a dialer or IP reporting set up. The client control panels do not. Uh, so for instance, if I would go to MC1003, since I know I intentionally uh, left it incorrect, I should get an error. Oh. Maybe I accidentally messed it up or put it back to being correct before. Oh, yep, because I had the IP reporting. So I'm gonna get rid of the IP reporting and show you guys again. Uh, and I apologize, I actually did have all this set up ahead of time. Uh, so let's try this again. So now I'll go to generate it. And now you see uh, it cannot generate the reporting document due to the fact that it doesn't have a dialer IP reporting accounts associated with that. Now, you notice my MC1002, or my client connection to, I was able to do that document for you uh, just due to the fact that I actually have a dialer programmed into this. So if I go back to client connection two, I go to my dialer, again, you're gonna see those different accounts here. Uh, now, with that being said, what I normally tell people is you can just enter in gibberish for this uh, and the reporting code generator doesn't really care and then just simply go back in and delete the dialer. So enter some, add the dialer, enter some gibberish, come to the reporting code generator, do this, go to the file, open it up, and now once you have it open again, you look at this PI qualifier over to the left-hand side, you're gonna see it says NPI02, meaning that it's client uh, panel one or you know the second control panel. So this is how you're able to get all those reporting codes for your client control panels. And this is something a lot of people haven't been able to figure out have had issues with over the years. But now because of our new reporting code generator, uh, it makes it a lot easier on those individuals. Uh, so this is what I have for the webinar. Uh, I don't know if anybody has any questions. Uh, before people get off here, I do wanna say I, I appreciate your time, uh, taking time out of your day for this Wednesday. Uh, if you guys do have questions, please feel free to type those into the chat box. Uh, trying to answer those. If not, again, I appreciate it. Hope everybody has a, a great Wednesday. Look forward to seeing you guys on future webinars, by the way. Uh, if you guys have any releasing applications, we do have another webinar coming up. Uh, I believe it's 
next week. That's again, just a short ARC 100 and releasing overview with the Potter system. Oh, so we did have a, a question here as far as the when is the reporting code generator uh, going to be released? It is actually released right now. Uh, so if we go to our website, I'll show you. Uh, to find it, uh, you go to Documents and Resources, Resource Type, Navigate to Software, then click that green Get Documents, scroll down, you will see that Report Generator. Now the thing about this though is uh, what I said in my webinar a couple weeks ago, it has to be on a Windows system. It will not work on uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, I'm assuming you're one of the ones that maybe we helped uh, in a uh, with with tech support or something like that because we were doing a lot of a lot of these for people calling into tech support uh, in the the beta phase and it's still technically in a beta phase uh, or we're calling it that just in case people find issues with it but we believe we've worked out all the bugs. Uh, if you guys do use the reporting code generator though and you feel like you have an issue, by all means contact. Uh, training or contact tech support uh, so that way we can uh, take your statement and try and figure out what you think is wrong with it but yes we do have more webinars coming up uh, trying to keep this updated with the uh, COVID-19 uh, one of the webinars that's not showing up here is uh, if you are an IPA dealer, we do have a, a PotterNet webinar coming up again. Uh, we had a lot of people didn't realize, I guess, because they have to log in. So if you are a direct dealer of ours, if you log into the website, uh, you will see another webinar that we have, which is called PotterNet. Uh, if you're interested in PotterNet, by the way, if you're not a direct dealer, contact the, your local sales rep, uh, and maybe they can get you in to the webinar. Uh, and as far as finding your local sales rep, again, it's right there on our website. Just go to pottersignal.com, contact up here at the right hand side, and then scroll down. You can see the list of uh, states and then find your number, of course. Otherwise, again, uh, appreciate everybody's time. Uh, hope everybody stays happy and healthy out there as much as you can. Uh, remember, Laugh about the little things right now. Uh, laughter is the best medicine as much as you can. And take time to breathe. Uh, go outside, go for a little walk. Uh, and enjoy yourselves as much as you can. Those, those good days, really, really enjoy them. I appreciate it. I will stick around for an additional 10 minutes, though, if you guys have questions. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys in the future and hopefully for a live training.
All right, again, thank you, everybody. Uh, I know I said I'd be on here for a while, but most of everybody's dropped off already. Uh, we only have a, a few people left. So I'm gonna go and end it. Again, if you guys have questions at all, please contact tech support or contact us trainers. Uh, we're, we're here, happy to help. Uh, and again, look forward to seeing you guys in a live training sometime in the future.